Okay, this game just ended in Denver, Colorado. Ryan Clark not playing for the Pittsburgh Steelers coach's decision. The coach sat him down uh, because of uh, obviously his blood trait disorder. Um, and uh, Ben Roethlisberger playing with a, a, a an injured ankle. As for the way this game unfolded, the Pittsburgh Steelers started off, and they started off quite well with Heath Miller getting a 33-yard gain mm. and Ben Roethlisberger getting knocked right down. And maybe, maybe that gimpy ankle tightened up on him in the first half of this game. They did only get three points out of that. As for Tim Tebow, he was slinging it. Early on in this game, on third and seven, Eddie Royal, it's incomplete. A lot of tight coverage right here in the game. Rich, he missed that throw right there. But boy, we got some highlights for it. Broncos next possession, down three nothing. Tebow trying to buy time. He does buy time. Flings it to Dante Rosario, incomplete. Only eight total yards in the first quarter, and you thought maybe the mismatch was on. Second quarter we go. It's six nothing, Pittsburgh. Here's Tim Tebow. Flipping it to Eric Decker, oh. and that is James Harrison hitting him and knocking him. Out he of hit him low, and, and yeah. he hit him legally, and it's a good hit. And that's what happens when you don't wear any pads on your legs. Now somebody knee is blown out because of the rules. And James Who Harrison talked from hitting him up top. He talked about this. He said, "I rather not. I don't want to go down low. It's too dangerous for players when they were finding him for getting for hitting players in the head." Well, Tomlin challenged that the ruling on the field of a completed pass was, uh, and and it was a, a good challenge. It was incomplete. Decker, however. One of uh, Tebow's favorite targets out of the game. Second quarter, which has been a bugaboo for the Denver Broncos the past yes, month, suddenly not so much as Tebow finds Demarius Thomas for 51 yards, the first 30-plus yard completion allowed on third down by the Steelers all season. And then Tebow finds Eddie Royal two plays well, later, touchdown. Tim Tebow looks off the free safety, so he can't get down the right sideline. He pops this thing up over the top of the defender, perfectly thrown, touchdown. The ball job has to be puzzled because he's caught in the correct defenses, but the defensive backs aren't making the play. First touchdown in 22 consecutive possessions for the Denver Broncos offense. They're up 7-6. And ben Roethlisberger for Mike Wallace complete on second and ten. John Fox, however, challenges the ruling of a catch on the field, and this was a quality challenge. It sure yes, was, because this ball goes through his hands, hits the ground, he bobbles it, no catch. No catch indeed. Steel is forced to punt. He goes, yes! And meanwhile, Brett Kiesel's in pajamas. He had a groin injury. Casey Hampton on that defensive line tweaked a knee. He was that out hurts. of the game as well, so the... The, uh, the Steelers already without Ryan Clark and with their quarterback banged up without two crucial members on the defensive line. And Tebow was finding Demarius Thomas at will. This is now a 58-yard game. Just a two-man row. Everybody talks about the blueprint for the, the, uh, defense Tebow. Tebow. Two plays Tebow later, here is Tim Tebow calling his own oh. number up the gut. Dick LeBeau watches Tebow put two touchdowns on his defense in the second quarter to go up 14-6. Steelers, how can they respond? Ben Roethlisberger, as I said early on, maybe his ankle was tweaked because he looked like the pocket passer that he usually is not taken down by Robert Ayers, and Ben comes up hobbling again. Next play, third and 16 from their own 14. Roethlisberger throwing over the middle. Don't throw there. Ooh. Picked by Quinton Carter. Returns it 18 yards to the nine-yard line. Ben hit again at limping up. Dion, what happened I here? I can't wait till you see this coverage. Most teams can only play this because you have Champ Bailey down low. He's the catalyst of this defense. You have covering Antonio Brown. Safety, Quinton Carter is playing center field. He's the rat. Everybody else is playing outside to slot other receivers. Underneath coverage, the rat is reading Big Ben's eyes, and he's going to slowly show cover to the champ, baby, and ease out and make this interception reading Big Ben's eyes. Great play. Perfect execution. I like the rat. Broncos next possession. Tebow picks the ball up from his ankles and flips it in the end zone. Wow. Incomplete. However, back in the pocket, James Harrison, this is called roughing uh, the pass. This what is, is up with this four one? Point. I mean, uh, uh, oh, oh boy, oh boy. Half the yeah, distance to the goal and force. Three right. plays later, Tim Tebow on third and goal. He's scrambling, and it's incomplete. So the roughing the passer penalty really doesn't affect him, except it's a settled field goal. 17-6, Broncos with four minutes to go in the half. Tebow rolling out. Nice design. Daniel Fells wide open. Nice design. They saw us in the film room when he started coming across the field. Your boy, Troy Palomaro, bit up, and the tight end went up the field for the long 
Connect, led connection. to a Prater field goal. Ben trying to get some points before the half with a minute to go. Finds Antonio Brown 25 yards. But Marquise Pouncey's out of this game. And his replacement, oh. Dan Ligurski, flips the snap over Roethlisberger's head. So no points Look for the Steelers who are down 20-6. At the half of this crucial wild card game, second half we go midway through. Ball is loose. It looks like it's a backwards pass and that the Denver Broncos hop on the loose ball. John Fox challenges, but the ruling is is that a forward backwards pass is not challengeable by the defense for the possession of the ball. The only way you can challenge it is to get the loss of yardage if it is indeed ruled a backwards pass. So the Steelers get the ball back and Roethlisberger flips it down the field. That's a dumb rule. To Emmanuel Sanders. 18 yards. Four plays later, Isaac Redman in for the injured Richard Mendenhall going to the goal line. He gets in the end zone. It's ruled a touchdown. All scoring plays are reviewed. It's not a fumble. Call the touchdown after further review. It's not a fumble, but it's also not a touchdown. The knee is down and the ball is not quite across the goal line. So, first and goal, Redman oh, flips it. It is flipped out to Mike Wallace. That's a touchdown, 20 to 13. It's a one touchdown game. Tim Tebow is warming up. Broncos next possession. Tebow flipping it out. It's incomplete. I Taylor had an I off day. Taylor had an off day. He did challenge the receivers with bumping and run. They kept getting off the ball. Outside, inside releases. He had a tough day. First down for the Broncos. Four plays later at the Steelers 35. Tebow He's keeping running. it. The zone read. He fools James Harrison now for the big first down. First down, three plays later. 15 ticks left in the third quarter. Tebow flips it out. Nice throw to Lance Paul. Look at him moving the chains. He's he firing good on that one. They said pull the trigger. I always said pull the trigger. He was pulling the trigger. Hold it. It's 20 to 13, fourth quarter now. Tebow in the red zone. Oh, Flips this one out to Eddie Royal, design. but there's a flag on the plate. Yeah, we're blocking downfield now during the, the screen. The, the play took too long to develop. Yeah, but what a job by Tebow getting that ball off. Yeah, that's 12 Willis down there blocking. He can't do that. So they have to settle for another field goal, but settling it makes it's it right. a two possession game. 23-13, Roethlisberger hands off to Isaac Redman. Nice cut. Running game. 20, Best game of his life. 28 yards. Redman at 121 on the day. First down, Steelers at the Broncos. 23, three plays later. Third and six, Roethlisberger looking for his tight end. Heath Miller incomplete. So Sean Shreesham comes in and hits a field goal to make it a one touchdown game. Broncos get the ball back. Eight and a half. Tebow again at Demarius. Oh, nice back shoulder throw. You don't see this very often from Tim Tebow, but he's getting better, Mike. 204 yards receiving for Thomas. You'll see how he got his final yard of the day, but Willis McGay Come puts on. the ball on the turf with seven and a half minutes to go. Lamar Woodley recovers after further review. John Fox throws the challenge flag. Ball loose before knees come down, and that is the way the Steelers get the ball back, trying to tie the game, keep their season alive, and hope to get the trip to New England next Saturday night on Divisional Saturday. That is the way Willis McGahee gave Ben Roethlisberger the ball. Plus side of the field, third and one. Here's Isaac Redman moving the chains. Four yards, he first ran down. the ball tough today. Three plays later at the Broncos, 31, Roethlisberger. Flipping it to Mike Wallace. Oh, Champ Bailey almost he it no. Maybe that's a game ender that right there. That would a great play. All right. Champ Bailey, one of the all-time best, could have Blows that into his two and his four to wrap things up. Mm. Instead, it's Twice. new All life right. for Roethlisberger. Oh, Next play from the 31. Roethlisberger <laughs> doing what we didn't see him in the first half. Extending the play with his legs and his hurt ankle, and he finds Jericho contrary for the That's the we see time and time again. Extend the play, find the receiver, scramble drill. Touchdown. Well, so it's a tie game at 23, but it's enough time for Tebow time. Tebow. Tebow. Daniel fell 17 yards, first down, Broncos three plays later, Buck 51 left, third and eight. Whoa! Tebow. 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 
So the Broncos have to punt it. Now it's Big Ben time. Ben time. Can he get the comeback win on the road in the playoffs? Roethlisberger, he is sacked by Von Down Miller. goes Ben. A minute four left dog. in the game. Roethlisberger, second and 14. Antonio Brown moved the chains. First down, I'm rhyming. 33 ticks to go. <laughs> Roethlisberger trying to get to the plus side of the field. Emmanuel Sanders does Ooh. just that. Oh, nice Sanders. Catch. It's last name. Sean Schwisham trying to kick to end the game. Sean Schwisham is warming up on the sidelines. 29 seconds to go. Roethlisberger sacked once by Von Miller. Now here no. comes Dumervelt. Ball the ball. Church's money on the ground. Final timeout for the Steelers. One second left. Do you attempt one from 67 yards or do you force overtime for the first time with the new rules? They go for the Hail Mary. Oh, boy. You can't job. beat Tim Tebow on a Hail Mary. No. Come on. <laughs> so it's time overtime. for overtime. What are the rules in overtime? What are the rules? Bottom line is whoever wins the Coin toss can't just march down the field and get a field goal to win. If that's what happens, the other team has an opportunity to match with a field goal and move things forward under the old overtime rules. However, whichever team gets the ball first, if that team scores a touchdown, touchdown. well, that would wrap things up. Oh, Let's okay. see what happens. We need a Who touchdown. Got the ball said, first? Rich. Who got the ball first? That would be the Denver Broncos. Oh, oh tails did fail for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Tim Tebow gets his first chance. First pass, first play of the new overtime. Oh, and it's oh, Game-winning drives in playoff history. Watches a one throw from Tim Tebow to Demarius Thomas, and that is the way Tim Tebow and Demarius Thomas, the first-round picks of Josh McDaniels, will see Josh McDaniels next week in New England. Holy smokes! That is the way the Denver Broncos wrap up wild Get card my host of water. weekend. Hose oh, me please. down, why don't you? Tim Tebow throws for three bills. Demarius Thomas catches for two bills. And that is the way the Broncos advance.